What up, what up, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. You see the thumbnail, Eric Kimura, or is it Chef Kimura? We really don't know who he is. I had to do a little bit of digging to find out what his character name was, and it is Eric Kimura. We see every time he's on the screen, he is a chef, but we don't know how he actually fits in with Mecca. So I'm gonna break down a few things that I've seen and what I also read. But before we break down who Eric Kimura is, Shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, this isn't a who is. This is more of what does he have to do with the show. So let's jump into it. This is Chef Eric Kamora. Eric Kamora, a.k.a. Chef. Now, there's three theories I have on what he could potentially do on the show. One, he could just be a hired chef that works for Mecca. He's been with him since he traveled the globe. That's highly unlikely. But then again, this is the power universe. He could be just that weak guy. And we see him getting to a moment where like, man, all he was with the chef. Now, there's theory two. He could be a hired assassin. He could be the hitman for Mecca. And what I mean is, you see how he's handling that knife? He's always using the knife. He's cooking something. He doesn't say much, but he watches Mecca and he makes sure that Mecca is always protected. Another thing is he could be the actual boss who Mecca is working for. Now I'm gonna go in a little bit more about the assassin. I just wanna get the third theory off. He could be the boss that just made his way up so high. Mecca is either his business partner or right up under him and he just likes to cook and Mecca handles all of the business. Now the reason I'm saying he's an assassin, we know about the knife, we know how he's working. We know he's very, very protective of Mecca. We seen when Nuff was talking about, oh, you knew Mecca before he went to Kuwait. He shut him up. He shut him up quickly so he wouldn't talk about that and told him to go get on some girls. Now I'm sure he went and referred that to Mecca. And that's what leads me into the third theory of he could be the boss man or the business partner with Mecca and telling him, hey, these guys you got around. First off, we had a little guap. The reason he put his earplugs in was not to incriminate himself. Now, if he is the boss, I, I ain't hear nothing. I just cooked, you know what I'm saying? But they could be down playing it. Then also with the Kuwait incident, he had to shut him up quickly. And this is to protect him and Mecca for whatever they're potentially working on. Now, we really don't know what the chef is doing. All we know is he's quiet. He's very professional. He even told Nuff, chew at your mouth closed. So he's disgusted with certain things that are going on. And being a chef, he's a neat freak. So I don't know exactly what he's gonna do. And we're gonna need some more information, some more detail. And I think maybe episode six or seven is when we're gonna see that. Also, another thing I like to point out, we get to see his arm a lot. So on his arm, he has a tattoo on it. We don't know what this tattoo signifies. And that's where I'm getting the assassin part from. Maybe this tattoo shows that he's put in work and he lets it be known. Now, only people that are in the game will know what his tattoo says on his arm. We're going to really have to watch him. All I know is he's making sure that Mecca doesn't incriminate himself and none of these other fools mess up anything. I don't know. But Chef Eric Kamora, he's going to be a very vital person. He may have to take out somebody. All right. What do you think Chef is? Do you think he's just a legit chef? He's an assassin or he's a business partner slash the boss of Mecca. And he's the one that's actually pulling the strings behind the scene. He's just very quiet this is what you would call a silent partner let me know what you guys think i'm on ij if you like the content on the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button make sure you tune in on sundays 9 p.m eastern we do a two hour after show discussion where you can just come in there and talk about anything you like any of your theories what you think went right went wrong in the episode thanks for watching i'm out jimmy on a beat boy